Hello, I'm Gillian Kerr at Logical Outcomes. This is an overview of the evaluation services in the OCASI Service Information System, or SIS. You can see an overview of the entire SIS platform in other videos. This one focuses on the tools that will help your organization plan and carry out evaluations. The evaluation tools will enable you to carry out an entire program evaluation from beginning to end. The tools include a logic model developer that's customized for immigrant and refugee serving agencies, an evaluation plan creator, surveys that can be sent out to clients and staff, a data warehouse that securely stores evaluation data, and a dashboard for reports. There are two ways to dig into the evaluation tools. One is to go through the SIS website, SIS NGO, starting with this page, the evaluation services, and explore each of the pages here. You're welcome to use any of these tools, even if you don't use the service information system yourself. The second way to explore the evaluation tools is through the demo SIS site that we've created. It's for a made-up agency called Aerial Community Services. Each organization that signs up for SIS will get their own customized site. This demo site shows the main features that you would see in your own site. It's based on Microsoft SharePoint, and it's visible only to the people you choose to invite. So here is the workspace in the demo site. This is what you would see with your own agency. Um, in this uh, demo, we have Aerial Community Services, a made-up program. Um, this right here is the home page, which we've called your workspace. And then you'll see we have the programs. Aerial just has one program, Youth Employment. And then we have a whole section on Manage Evaluations, and I'll go over this in more depth later. The important thing here is that you can share this site with anybody you like, inside and outside your organization, they would be able to see the news stories that uh, come out of your programs. Um, these are news stories. Here's uh, just an example. They uh, can uh, typically be just a couple of sentences with an interesting uh, picture taken from your Power BI reports. They can be a longer update. The idea is to engage people in your organization with what is going on with the evaluations. It also means that you have a bank of new stories that you can just plug into your final report, which will save you a whole lot of time. Here is Ariel's one program, the Youth Employment Services. In reality, we know that most agencies have many programs, some with 20 or more. In the near future, we're going to switch to the brand new SharePoint hub site design, which will be prettier and have easier standard nav navigation for many different programs. But for now, I'll just show you the basics. Each program has its own news stories. The news stories flow up to the home page here so that everybody who has access to the home page can see all the evaluation updates throughout the whole agency. Um, note that these news stories are summaries, not the actual data. OK, the section on managing evaluations. I'm talking now to the agency administrator, the person who will be leading the evaluations for your organization. In this section, you can set up evaluations for your programs. There's a lot of flexibility here. You may be evaluating your whole organization, such as your staff engagement or client satisfaction for the agency as a whole, or you may be carrying out a couple of different evaluations for a single program. Let's assume you're setting up one evaluation project for one particular program. First thing you would do is define your evaluation objectives and methodologies. So let's go into set up a new evaluation project. You would start with the evaluation planning workbook, which is a form that we've developed that takes you through all of the steps of a complete evaluation plan. And here are the table of contents. You've got evaluation objectives, methodology, security, how you plan to protect your data, how you're going to manage the evaluation project, and even the plans around wrapping up the project. The idea is that at the end of this, you can print it out into PDF. You can save it to manage and archive and document your project. This is a picture of the generic logic bundle that we've developed for immigrant and refugee serving agencies. You will be able to customize this for yourself. So for example, um, if your agency, um, if your outcomes include education and training, you would keep uh, this education and training outcome. If not, you wouldn't. And um, you would uh, identify the people that you're um, serving, the program intensity, and so on. There's a lot of detail here, so I'm not going to go any more into that. We'll develop another video. After coming up with an evaluation plan and logic model, you would then develop data collection tools for your agency. 
At CIS, we've developed a number of um, questions and indicators that are relevant to immigrant and refugee serving agencies. We've developed this in collaboration with OCASI and OCASI member agencies who are involved with the, the advisory group. And we've also done them based on research and an analysis of the um, outcomes of IRCC programs. Um, and uh, these are all available on the website. You can look through the data collection tools. They are essentially survey questions at this point. We're going to be adding other data collection tools in the future, but for now, they're survey questions for your clients and for your staff. You would be able to customize surveys for your needs based on your logic model and your evaluation objectives, and then you would store those data collection tools um, in a secure warehouse that is not directly available from the SharePoint site. We don't want um, any possibility of a, a person's personal information being, accept, uh, being accessible to anyone outside the data warehouse that we have under control. So you would be able to see examples of the surveys, but you would never be able to see the actual survey results except for the uh, open-ended questions with permission from the data respondents. In any case, when you collect data, you would first develop the data collection tools and then for any particular data collection um, stage, you would go to this page and say, okay, I want to collect data. Here, here is the group. Here are the number of people we're sending it out to. This is how we selected the, um, uh, the sample. It would track the number of people you're sending it out to and what you're doing. So at the end of the project, when you're ready to write your final evaluation report, you have your methodology all in uh, a neat place. Once you had sent out the surveys or distributed the surveys, um, you would be able to sign back into this site and see the data. Now, here is an example. This is uh, based on Power BI. You can see this is reporting on the team effectiveness instrument, uh, which is for your staff and volunteers. It looks at the behaviors that are important for a well-functioning, productive team. Um, and uh, at the bottom, you can see under the tabs, you have a summary. You have a comparison of team effectiveness by program, by indicator, and so on. So each of these results has a lot of information. And we are working with agencies to come up with uh, designs for these Power BI reports that will get you what you need. You can take uh, pictures of them, screenshots. You can uh, take interesting um, uh, uh, insights and put them on your news stories. You can download them and so on. What you would not be able to do is drill in and find individual people's reports and uh, results because that would be a privacy problem. In addition, the only person that can see the Power BI reports, the way you see them here, is a person with a Power BI license. You will not be able to share these reports directly with anybody who has access to the sites because there's a possibility they might be able to figure out who somebody is by, for example, a small cell size with a very sensitive um, uh, collection of uh, responses like sexual orientation and um, experience with a criminal justice background. So you will have people that you identify in your agency that can see the actual reports. Then those people will be able to take uh, uh, screenshots or download specific pieces and share them with the whole agency without risking a sensitive uh, information being um, uh, sent out to uh, the wrong people. I've talked a lot about news stories, and news stories are a really essential part of the whole service information system. Creating news stories within SharePoint is really easy. You press a plus sign at the top if you're a site owner, um, and uh, then you can uh, cut and paste uh, pictures. You can write comments, and then when you post it, those news stories are available to anybody that you've given access to in this uh, site. You can also send them to uh, um, put them in PowerPoint presentations and distribute them. There's a couple of reasons we're emphasizing news stories so much. The first is that the analyst who has access to the Power BI can identify the interesting portraits. Uh, it takes experience with data to mess around with um, reports and to dig in and to filter and to look at data. We want somebody in each agency to be able to do that, but then to be able to capture the interesting insights, write a description, and share them. Uh, that's uh, important not only to protect privacy, but it's also to keep insights disseminated throughout the agency. 
It doesn't make sense to do an evaluation and just have a final report at the end that almost nobody ever reads. It makes a lot more sense to, throughout the process of an evaluation, say, hey, we found this interesting insight, or hey, it looks as though our clients are not very happy with the way we're handling certain things. We should probably improve the way we provide services because we have a satisfaction issue. So that continuous improvement happens constantly without waiting for the end. And speaking of the end, whenever you design an evaluation project, you always have to be thinking about what the final report is. Now, we're assuming that you're doing this evaluation um, either because your board has asked you to or because your funder has asked you to or both. In either case, they're going to be uh, expecting a final report. Now, final reports uh, often end up uh, being ha happening at the very last minute. There's writer's block. It's kind of an awful experience. We've tried to develop the service information system so that the final report is just a matter of pulling together what you've done over the entire process. You've got your evaluation plan. You have the logic model. You did that at the very beginning. You have the um, all the times that you collected data. You have little reports that were part of that process that include the sample, um, the who they were sent out to, uh, and then you have all the news stories. We're hoping that you should be able to put them all together fairly easily, combine them in one PDF report with some overall summaries, and then that basically is your report, which is part of reducing the burden of uh, report writing and the burden of data collection and the burden of evaluations while also making it more digestible and interesting throughout the whole process. And that's it. As always, for more information, go to sys.ngo. We're going to be posting more help videos. And if you have any particular questions, just contact us at sys at logicaloutcomes.net. Thanks.